Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's summarize what we know about the differences between mutually exclusive and independent events. Well, start with the easy one, mutually exclusive. When two events are mutually exclusive, they cannot happen together. In other words, if one happens, you cannot have the other, and the other happens, you cannot have the one. So that's what we mean by mutually exclusive. If we draw a Venn diagram, you can see there's no overlap between the probability that A will occur and the probability that B will occur. In other words, they cannot occur at the same time. For independent events, it's a little different. There is overlap, but the difference there is that if two events are independent, well, they are independent when the outcome or the lack of outcome of one cannot affect the outcome of the other. So, if the probability of A has certain value and the probability of B has some value, that probability of B will not change if A has happened or not happened. In other words, the outcome of B has no relevance to the outcome of A and the outcome of A has no relevance to the outcome of B. That's what makes them independent of one another. And so, if you're trying to calculate the probability of A and B, it's simply the product of the probability of A times the probability of B. So the overlap area of A and B is simply the product of the probability of the one times the probability of the other. Now some important things to remember about mutually exclusive and independent is noted as follows. Independent events have an intersection. Notice if they're independent, they have an intersection. If they're mutually exclusive, there is no intersection. And secondly, Events cannot be both mutually exclusive and independent. That's really important. So if you establish that they're mutually exclusive, they cannot possibly be independent. And if they're independent, they cannot possibly be mutually exclusive. And the big reason why is that if, you're mutually, if you have mutually exclusive events, there is no intersection. If they're independent, then there is an intersection. So they cannot be both at the same time, and if it's one, it cannot be the other, and that's really important. To help us understand what ind independent events are, let's take a look at the example of independence. Let's say we toss a dime and a quarter. That means then that the probability of A will equal the probability that the dime is tails, and of course that's equal to one half. And let's then say that the probability of B is equal to the probability that B will be, or that the quarter will equal tails, and that's of course also equal to one half. And you can clearly see that it doesn't matter what the outcome of A was, it doesn't matter if the dime was tails or the dime was heads, the probability of B, quarter being tails, is completely independent of what happened to A, and vice versa as well. And so then, if we want to find the intersection of the two, the intersection, I should say, between A and B, with other words, what is the probability that both A and B are equal tails? Then we simply have to multiply the probability of A times the probability of B, and so one half times one half is a quarter, and so therefore there's a quarter probability that both will be tails, and that's a perfect example of what we mean by two independent events. So, if two events are independent, then they are not mutually exclusive, and if two events are mutually exclusive, then they are not independent. If one, then not the other. And we need to keep that in mind when we're talking about and thinking about mutually exclusive and independent events. And that is how it's done.